Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about Best Supporting Actress, and this is not an easy category. I'd say this is definitely the hardest category to predict out of the acting categories and might be one of the trickiest calls to make of the night. And all five of the nominees make a case for themselves. So what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to talk about each of the nominees in depth about the pros and cons why they might win, and why they might not win. Okay, this is a really tight category, so let's dive in. Fifth most likely to win is Marina de Tavira in Roma. Why she might win? She's in Roma, which is the movie to beat on Oscar night. It is a huge, huge film that is doing extraordinarily well in the guilds, and it did extraordinarily well in the nominations. And Tavira is definitely very good in the film, and she's never really... Okay, why she might not win is because this is her only nomination of the entire awards season. She has has not picked up anything else in the guild. Now, it does happen that someone can come out of nowhere and win an Oscar. Like, uh, Marsha Gay Harden in Pollock is a good example. She didn't have anything major before she suddenly got the Oscar nomination and then won. And I think it's certainly possible that this win can still happen, but the reason I'm not predicting it is because of the fact that she never got any recognition from a lot of the major guilds. And it's tough to judge her performance in the movie because it is good, but it's also very much in the background and she never really gets a big Oscar scene. So, um, I don't know. Like, it was tough to even find a picture to use of her for this video. I think she'll definitely get votes by the people that love Roma and will vote for it in every category, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on her. It might, I could still see a world where this happens because the movie is doing so well. The movie might end up sweeping Oscar night, but I doubt it. We haven't had a sweeper like this in a while, and the nomination was a big surprise. It could happen, but I don't think it will. Fourth most likely to win is Emma Stone in The Favorite. I think it's crazy that Emma Stone is a four in this category. Because in so many years, she would be a two. Um, I Why I think she could win? Because she's in the favorite. And uh, it's a great performance and a great movie. And uh, granted, she did just win two years ago. And granted, uh, she's being campaign supported when she's really lead. But those two things also apply to Mahershala Ali, who's probably going to win an Oscar this year. So... The formula could repeat itself, and Emma Stone could pull off a shocking victory. She's certainly a very well-liked actress. She's the type of actress that I wouldn't be shocked to see win multiple Oscars over the course of her career. But reasons why she might not win is because she could split votes with Rachel Weisz. That's the problem with this category. Uh, She and Rachel Weisz both have equal... I think all the women in The Favorite have equal amounts of screen time. But Emma Stone is really the lead character of the movie, a lot of, you could argue. I think she's the most lead out of any of them, so it feels really, really weird to put her here. Can Emma Stone win? Sure. Category fraud can often help um, people who are really lead but being pushed supporting. It's clearly working out for Mahershala Ali, and maybe we could get a similar situation brewing where... She wins supporting even though she's lead. And and it's the same thing in supporting actor and supporting actress. I could totally see that happening. Um, She hasn't really won any of the major guilds. So I'm not going to predict her. But this could happen. Like, legit watch out for two-time Academy Award winner Emma Stone. Because this category is so tight, there's legitimately a world in which she wins Best Supporting Actress. Third most likely to win is Rachel Weisz. So reasons why she might win is she won the BAFTA. 
and uh, that gives her a slight edge over Emma Stone. But then again, maybe she just won the BAFTA because she's British and they wanted to give it to the British person. I feel that of the few places that have awarded uh, the favorite in this category, they've awarded Rachel Weisz and not Emma Stone. Uh, both of them already have Oscars, so neither of them are overdue exactly. And what's really tragic about this whole circumstance is that this category would be over and done with if they had just campaigned Olivia Colman in this category. Like, Olivia Colman going Best Supporting Actress, and I don't care where you put the other two, probably Stone in lead and Vice in supporting, but Colman would walk away with this easily. And there would be no, and, and it would be deserving. To be perfectly honest, I think there's a chance Olivia Colman might be my personal winner of the year in supporting actress, but they just had to put her lead. I, I think if anyone of the three women are supporting, it's Coleman. But no, she's getting pushed lead, and now she's going to lose to Glenn Close. I don't know. I think Rachel Weiss, her role is just on the line between lead and supporting, and I think it's debatable. I, I, I can definitely see a world where this happens because she did win BAFTA and she has at least gotten nominated for everywhere, so she does have a lot of support. I can see a world where this happens, but I'm not going to predict her. Second most likely to win is Amy Adams in Vice. Reasons why she might win? Because she's Amy Adams and she's on her sixth nomination and she hasn't won yet. Ah, uh, what is it going to take? Like, she is just so good. And people know she's overdue. People really know. She is... She actually has more nominations than Leo did when he won. Leonardo DiCaprio. People said, oh, he's so overdue when he won for The Revenant. But that was his fifth nomination. And this is her sixth nomination. And she's tying with uh, Thelma Ritter and Deborah Kerr as great actresses that never won an Academy Award. I think Glenn Close still has the record, but she's going to win this year. And Amy Adams, mm, she's over 40, even if she doesn't look it. And uh, I really don't want to run out of time with her. I really don't want it to be like, oh, we'll get to her eventually, and then they never do. But the reason why I don't think she's going to win is because she hasn't won anything else. And because even at SAG and BAFTA, who totally had the opportunity to give the award to her, they went their own way. Uh, SAG went Emily Blunt, and BAFTA went uh, Rachel Weisz. And I really want to believe Amy Adams, has a ch Amy Adams has a chance, because she's in a movie that a lot of people seem to like. And uh, people like her. And it's a supporting performance, to be fair, and it's not her best work, but a lot of us just really want to see her win for something. And if this is not her year... I can accept that as long as she has a year coming up where she has something big and undeniable. Like, cast her in a really meaty leading role. Or, or you know what? She has a great singing voice. Like, remember Enchanted? She can really sing. So cast her in a musical in like a big... Cast her as Diana in Next to Normal. And just have her sing her heart out and, be, and cry and be really emotional. Have all the camera on her. Have her chewing the scenery and then have her walk away with an Academy Award. Like, that's what I want to see. But, sadly, it's not going to happen this year. Amy Adams, uh, and she didn't even win, like, any TV stuff for uh, Sharp Objects, which really sucked because she wasted, like, both of those projects, Vice and Sharp Objects. She really, really wants an Oscar, and she really deserves an Oscar. Someday, though, there's a chance it could still happen this year. There's a chance she can still get votes, but I'm not going to predict her. My predicted winner, number one most likely to win, is Regina King in If Beale Street Could Talk. Reasons why she might win. She won the Globe and she won Critics' Choice, and those are pretty good stats. Reasons why she might not win. She was not nominated for SAG or BAFTA, and those are huge. But if they had selected a prime contender to, uh, to win instead... If they had given their stuff 
aggressively to Amy Adams, then that would be a big deal. But they didn't. Uh, BAFTA went vice, and SAG went completely off the board. And so Regina King is looking like a prime contender, even though her movie is not nominated for Best Picture. Regina King, she's the only one in that category whose movie is not nominated for Best Picture, which would hurt her chances, and she has missed SAG, and she's in a movie with only three nominations that just might walk away with all three. Like, all three of those awards are really, really tricky, uh, not only a supporting actress, but adapted screenplay and original score, which I'll be talking about soon. Both of those are really dicey. But... I don't know. There's a lot of warning signs that say Regina King uh, is not going to pull through in the end, but I don't know who else wins. And the other four all make strong arguments. Adams has the overdue factor. Weiss, Weiss has BAFTA. Emma Stone has the exact same credentials Marshall Lee has, and she's a very well-liked actress. And Marina de Tavira is in the movie that's probably going to win Best Picture. Like, they all have legit reasons why you could vote for them. But I think the safe choice is probably going to be Regina King. But honestly, roll a five-sided die if you're trying to decide this. I don't know and I feel like there's gonna be, it's gonna be something crazy happen, and something big is gonna happen, and we're not gonna be able to predict it. I'm not sure what it is. For the moment, the safe bet is on Regina King, but I am not appalled to you picking any of the choices. The Oscars are in a week, and we all have to decide on something. In a lot of these categories, like, they're so, so crowded. So, yeah. And we'll also get... It's hectic for me, too, because I'm, I'm sick and I'm about to shoot a movie. Uh, not fun, not fun. But I'm going to try and distract myself from this fun. After I edit this, I'm probably going to do a little vid bit of video gaming and try to calm my nerves down. And just uh, hope those shooting dates never arrive, because I'm starting to get really nervous about them. So anyway, um, that, that is my prediction. Tune in tomorrow. See you later. Goodbye.